I've got a great story for you. It's the tale of Boradum, a dreaded monster that has claimed millions of lives. Boradum is not strong. He is big and slow and lazy. But he is enormously clever at sucking the life energy out of people, particularly young people. Really little kids seem to be immune to Boradum. However, teenagers are easy prey. They fall to Boradum like flowers to a torrential rain. But have no fear. There is a mighty hero waiting to save teenagers from Boradum. This superhero has weapons of unbelievable power, ideas that are mind-bending, and laws that encompass everything in the universe. This hero goes by the name of Physics. Let me tell you about some of his powers. Physics reveals that your body, every one of your atoms, was the result of fantastic explosions. Some of these explosions happened inside of stars. Another marked the creation of the entire universe. You are made of star stuff that is billions of years old, with a few even older atoms made at the beginning of time. Physics reveals that besides those ancient atoms, your body is not quite empty space. When you hug someone, your atoms never actually touch theirs. Instead, your force fields touch. Most of the space of your body is occupied by those fields, electric fields, not by atoms. In fact, we are electric creatures. Everything we do, from hugging to thinking, is electrical in nature. Physics reveals that the intangible stuff called energy runs the universe and our lives. The total amount of energy in the universe never changes, but the energy does change form, from useful to useless. Life itself is dedicated to harvesting useful energy and turning it into useless heat. That's what our bodies do, and that's what all machines do. Heat is the graveyard of energy. Against Boradum, Physics wields the mighty weapons of matter and energy, particles and fields, space and time. Physics even reveals that time travel is possible, and it tells us how to build real time machines, but only for moving into the future, not the past. Physics also shows that truly tiny things, quantum objects, can be in two places at the same time. Future computers may depend on this ghost-like behavior to allow fantastically complex calculations and maybe even to simulate consciousness. I actually feel kind of sad for Boradum. He is no match for our superhero. For students who let physics come to their defense, there is never a dull moment. The world is full of interconnected, comprehensible wonders. And Boradum doesn't have a chance.